Nice like this, I need all of you. Why does shit make my shit like a V-neck? Yo, do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Go ahead and get straight into it. How to shoot your shot at women in 2024. Let's see what the what the what gals is talking about. the biggest misconception of you at this point? I don't even know who this is. Uh, who is this? I feel like it's too many misconceptions for me to just pinpoint oh, one, but I feel is... like a lot of people feel like, um... Oh, yeah. If y'all know, y'all know. I'm not approachable. They judge me based off of social media. They was trying... Or I different gonna, things that... I don't want to be that nigga, but... Y'all go on the internet, go on the internet. They were saying how Shorty was a part of some shit, boy. They done heard. Just say that. Exactly. That's the internet, when it though. comes to no approach, mm -hmm. if there oh. was a circle chart of a hundred percent, yellow bone team. Look at this. These her lips. What percentage are you, you the, shooting you your shot out? at someone versus someone shooting their shot at She's you? Beautiful niggas are shooting their shot mm -hmm. out every day. I say 50-50. Cap. Uh, because a lot of people feel like I'm not approachable. But, okay, you know, I could take the signs or whatever. It'd be cute little things that people would do. Even people like, you know, A-list that you wouldn't even suspect. I'd be like, why are you acting like that? they like, I don't know what to say to you. Now, you did mention the approachability in a previous portion of questions. But like there are some that... Uh, don't shoot their shot. They're against shooting their shot. They want the other party to shoot their shot a hundred percent. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta know, like me personally, I ain't gonna say I'm, I ain't gonna take no shots. You feel me? Cause ooh, this ooh, you heard? I'm a firm believer, firm, firm believer in ooh, this ooh, real ooh, this ooh. You know what I'm saying? Even if the odds are stacked against you, my nigga, step up to the fucking plate, nigga, play ball, pause. Like you niggas be dumb scared out here, bro. I grew up a little different, my nigga. You feel me? Niggas was outside, bro. Outside the game and then all that shit came a little bit later. But niggas was outside, bro, for the most part. Nigga touching grass, playing, getting raw, falling down, getting back up. You feel me? Having a crush. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's kind of playing a whole bunch of sports. None officially except for football. But you know what I'm saying? Dibbling, dabbling, doing a little bit of everything, my nigga. Finding your flow, finding your crowd, finding your, your stride, your swag. Your, you know what I mean? So with that, with the, that being said, you find your charisma in, in these in these kind of situations, your strengths, your weaknesses, your weaknesses. And with that being said, bro, the worst you can hear, don't nah, it's, it's cap because I be seeing some shit on the internet. So I might reframe this at a later date. But as of right now, the worst you can hear is no, my nigga. Once you get that one no, bro, it's wallahi, brother, nothing else matters, my nigga. Nothing else matters, bro. Then one no, that's all you were. All right, cool, bet. Dust it off, my nigga. Get back up and, you know what I'm saying? And let's keep it a bean. The secret to, to to getting a lot of these women, like the badder joints and all that, is to keep them engaged. How do you keep them engaged, my nigga? Be a little funny, bro. Be a little charismatic. Be yourself, bro. Like, don't go out doing no extra shit, nigga. Just be yourself, my nigga. Not. Eight times or nine times out of ten, it's going to work out. And for the girls that you don't work out for, okay, sometimes they spin the block. Sometimes it's not the time. And, you know what I'm saying? She might be able to get a late at a later date. Like, don't beat yourself up, gang. If you think she's not approachable, if she give you a little sign, my man, I'm a little different. The bitch look at me, we make, we lock eyes. I think she like me. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a big. I'm going to keep it a big, my nigga. That mean pull up. That's how girls flirt. You know what I'm saying? Certain signs, like, my nigga, you got to, I'm, you got to read the body language. You got to really, you know what I mean? I'm talking too much. Let's get back into the video. Did you ever have that mentality? And if not, I mean, if you did, curious why you changed. Um, No, I don't. I feel like um, I'm pretty outspoken. I might be shy a little bit in situations like that as far as dating. But in general, like if I see you looking at me or you... uh giving me little signs and hints, then I might say something. And a lot of the times people think that I got a man, so they don't be knowing what to say. Or that I'll be like with my people, like, and they'll be thinking that one of them is my man. So they'll be like, I yeah. didn't want to say nothing because I didn't. And so I'm like, nah. You like that too. Like, you got to think, bro. Niggas be thinking from a, from niggas' perspective. I don't know if girls, you're talking about girls in the situation, but niggas be thinking from niggas' perspective. You over there with a group of niggas, probably a couple of bitches, but one of them niggas may or may not be it may give me signs that this may not be in again. And, and right? What's the what's nigga moments can definitely occur. You come, I come up, walk up to you and try to talk to you. 
And this is your man. Guess what? He may step in. And he may come a little aggressive. And guess what? I'm a man. He's a man. You know what I'm saying? Testosterone and ego is now at play. Something may occur. You know what I'm saying? Some might get punched out and violated expeditiously in the spot. You heard? Niggas might beat him bad. You heard? Just over trying to... So niggas just be on some shit like, all right, I peep. You know what I'm saying? They wait or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And some... Even some... It'd be some situations... Pardon me. It'd be some situations where niggas will walk up to a shorty and the nigga may let his girl handle it or or may step in like, nah, man, that's my girl. And be just mad respectful, though. But some nigga... Hey, bitch, I had nigga you talking about... Oh, 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 whoa, hold on. Now niggas just got punched on bad, like, like viciously. Like, and then now the hammers is out. You see what I'm saying? So, I, I'm not going to say niggas is scared to that extent, but certain shit, you got to be a little, know how to avoid and maneuver again. Nigga moments is, is to be honest, nigga moments is at all time high. You know what I'm saying? Is inflation. <laughs> niggas... Social media out like it's a whole lot of now factors that weren't before that's in place now that man niggas mo- nigga moments ago that niggas you stepped on this nigga's shoelaces not the shoes not the sneakers not even the side of the feet you stepped on what's that little plastic part that at the end of the shoe you stepped on that he feels a kind of way bottles is being popped over the mata and niggas is catching wild uppies. <laughs> the cat, like nigga, like you see what I'm saying? Like shit could happen like that. Y'all think I'm bullshit? I don't seen it. That's cool. Now, do you prefer being approached online <laughs> make it, make or off? Like, come on. Uh, I prefer to meet people like just organically, but nice. it's very hard now. Yeah. Especially like me, like if I'm not at work, I'm at home. If I'm not at yeah. home, I'm on the road, so I can bump into people, but it's very rare, yeah. It's, it's just gonna be hard. I'm That's not what I'm worried about like when, I'm, when I actually now let's off of the streaming shit, bro. Like, me, I want to meet cool ass people, but like the day in life, my day in life, probably gonna be my day in life ass now, but that shit's gonna be terrible. Say you are outside, mm-hmm. is, is there terrible. a proper or improper location to shoot a shot at you? No, I wouldn't say it is. No, okay, so for example, get. Yeah. You with your family, you in the supermarket, I'm not sure my shot at you. Keep it being. You in the, like, hopefully I can catch you by a dolly or whatever in the supermarket. In the gym, I'm not sure my shot. If you with your moms or your parents or something, I'm not sure my shot. Like, I just, a little respect, my man. It's like, now, unless it's like some, like, on some just casual shit, I'm not sure my shot. But it's on some, hold on, I think this may be a potential wife, then I might approach like that. But, you know what I'm saying, just the shit for shits and giggles? Nah, I ain't doing that. Gas stations may be off limits to some. Nah. Or Pulling this location may be off limits to some. Is but there... that might be the only moment that, that you had to meet that person. That is a fact. No, I don't ooh. feel like nothing wrong with that. That is another fact. Now, zooming you out, whether that, it's online or away. offline, you could be specific with this next answer, but what is the best way to approach you in either of those manners? What are the rules for you? What's the guidelines, the etiquette, the do's and don'ts either approaching you online or offline? Um, I feel like just be yourself. Something that turns me off when people initially, like, shoot they shot at me is, like, the things that they might say, like, talking to me in slang. I feel like if you're trying to take somebody seriously, like, approach me as if you really want to get to know me, not talking to me like we just bumped into each other in the hood. Like, that's a super turn off. Even if you like that with everybody else and you want to take me serious, don't be like that with me. Uh, we had a... That is a fact, too. to each other in the hood like that's a super t- to take somebody seriously like 
approaching me as if you really want to get to know me, not talking to me like we just bumped into each other in the hood. Like, that's a super turn off. Even if you like yeah, that right. with everybody else and you want to take me serious, don't be like that with me. Uh, we at a gas station or something, like, just like walk up, me. like, yeah. engage in the conversation. If I'm not feeling it, I'm going to tell you I got a man even though I don't. That's the one. That's a gold fucking two. That is the gold fucking two, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas know what to do, bro. But she will caution. Watch what you say. Watch how you talking, you heard? I need to be safe out there, man. And don't be afraid of no, bro. She's going to tell you that. All right, cool. She said, no, nah, I got a man. And no, me personally, once a, bitch, excuse me, once a girl, a woman says she got a man, she could be dead lying and I can know she lying. I can see her get catch wild, blah, 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 like OD. And I can still be like, all right, yeah, nah, I bet. You feel me? Have, have a good one. Respect, queen. You know what I'm saying? Because it was the point, bro. And they used to be pressing the issue sometimes and looking mad pressed. Now, like, you've never been here before. You never bagged a bad bitch, my nigga? You never been rejected from a bad bitch? My nigga is humbling. You heard? Humbling. You know what I'm saying? This shit, this shit be needed sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Step your shit up. Like, all right, well, bitch, you know what I'm saying? She rejected me. All right, cool. Now I'm about to turn up. You know what I'm saying? Go up an extra level. Y'all niggas, don't, y'all niggas don't know how to take L's. Like, you know what I mean? But y'all do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this shit with our boy line and all of them. You heard? We going up. What the fuck y'all niggas doing? Gangster.